Hello YouTube and welcome to Chin and Chew Reviews. Minus Chew. Yeah, so sorry about that. And welcome to Chin and Chew Reviews. Um, Mum is actually on holiday at the moment, so here's a quick, you know, video from her. Quick message? Memo! Message! We say a message from her. Yeah, so she's out in um, her homeland of Brunei. Today, this is a re-upload from our other channel. Now, we've just hit, well, we're just under 28,000 subscribers on um, Jan's Oriental Food Workshop. We're coming up to 1,000 on this channel, which is amazing, but we've got an old review video that is on that channel, which is now this video. I did part two of this, but I lost the footage mainly because my old laptop with that footage on died on me as I was editing it. It wasn't backed up, so that was a bit of a a nightmare. I've got bits and bobs but nothing to actually make a decent video. So what I'm doing now is I'm re-uploading this just so you guys can see it if you haven't seen it before and then I'll be doing part two again. Maybe if mum is here she gets back quick enough I can do it with her here but if not um, yeah it'll just be me again unfortunately because we all know mum is the actual star but that's not the point. I'll, I'll carry on with this and um, yeah so this is the second time around for this. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, we're James Oriental Food Workshop. I'm Chin, this is my mum Chin. Hello. We do this kind of food for a living in our outlet and we want to teach you guys how to make this food at home yourselves, giving you the tips and tricks of the trade that they don't want you to know. Um, so today is something a little bit different. We're going to do a tasting and the idea behind this is to find which off-the-shelf brand, this is just one I picked up, just, this isn't the best, we, we don't know yet, we haven't tasted it, is the best and if, if it's possible for you to pick something up for this really really cheap and then tweak it um, to make it taste like an actual Chinese takeaway sweet and sour. The first video will just be us deciding which is the best um, sweet and sour that you can get off the shelves. Well out of two supermarkets we went to look for because we live in rural, rural Somerset and there is only two super and there was only two su two supermarkets <laughs> in the area, so choices are limited. Very limited. So yeah, we're going to get on with this. Um, here are the five sauces we have gone with. The first one will be Tesco's sweet and sour cooking sauce. This retails for ATP in the UK. The second sauce we have is the Sherwood sweet and sour, and this retails for about one pound seventy-five, nearly double the price. Well, over double the price of the um, Tesco's one. I wonder if it's double the flavour. Mmm, we'll find out! Third one is Uncle Ben's Sweet and Sour. This one is usually found for about the, around the pound mark. Um, this is the tried and tested one that most people have used at least once in their lives, especially if you've been at uni. You live on Uncle Ben's. The fourth is the Morrison's own brand Sweet and Sour Sauce. This is 84p um, for 500 grams. And the last one we have is Blue Dragon. Um, this is just a stir fry sauce, but Blue Dragon I've always used and they've always been terrible, so I thought I'd try it anyway. And this is 35p for a tiny sachet. So which one will be the best? Remember, this is just the first ones I could grab in two stores. We live in rural Somerset, so there aren't many stores. Right, it won't show me doing this to all of them, but to make this fair, we've got the same amount of rice in each bowl. We're not going to warm this sauce up, we're just going to go straight from the tub because you can. And I'm going to put two of these Chinese spoonfuls on each portion. Just like that. Right? So, um, Mum has no idea which sauce is what I do, obviously, because one of us had to um, dish it out. <laughs> <laughs> but other than that, we have no idea. Each one has a different sauce in. We've got some of this just in case it needs more flavour. Um, this is at the start of our advert, so we thought we'd put it up and test this as well, actually. We don't use this to cook with. If it's nice, I might try and find a recipe for you guys to use. Um, but yeah, that's there for the moment. So we're going to start on the first one. 
you guys will know what this is because it was in the order that came up before and is actually probably written down below. I'll put it down below. So let's go with this one first. It's so this is quite a nice colour. It's got carrots, got pepper, tiny bits of pepper, like literally a wafer thin pepper. Pineapple. Well, it's basically <clears throat> pepper skin and yeah. tiny, tiny chunks of pineapple. Okay, so let's let's get it. What they've done is they had quite a good sauce, and then they thought, you know what people really want? They they want peppers in there, pepper, yeah. and it's it's made it taste off, yeah. hasn't it? Yeah. What a shame. That that could have been quite nice. Also, the sauce has picked up a bit of a flavour of the um, carrots as well, which isn't too great. Awkward. It's nice for light soy sauce, isn't it? I'd give that first one probably a five out of ten. Yeah. They ruined it with the um, <clears throat> putting the peppers in there. If any, I doubt it, but if Sherwoods or or Tesco's or Morrison's or Blue Dragon are listening, don't put peppers in. Second one. This is a really nice colour. Again, they put peppers in. Small chunks of something, which I think are pineapple. Mm. What it tastes like. Oh. But this is nice. Mm. Mm. Nicer than that one. This is much nicer. Yeah, it's got a sour to it, so. Yeah, you can use more vinegar. That's not half bad. Mm. Would have been better without the peppers. Mm. Yeah, add a bit of that. Yeah. Things like flavor. I'd say that's about. It doesn't taste like takeaway Chinese sweet sour sauce, don't get me wrong, does it? No. But it's nice. Yeah. Number three. That's a, I'd say an eight. <clears throat> eight out of ten. Um, I think, that, yeah, about... About an eight out of ten. Yeah. So we've got a five and an eight. Let's try this one. This one looks really weak got colour. It's a bamboo got shoot. A bit chung with bamboo shoot and pineapple. Yeah, it's, yeah it's, I haven't been stingy. Right, let's try it. Tastes like cider. In mm. the UK, cider is alcoholic apple juice. We've got celery as well. That's what the weird flavour is. Mm. It tastes like apples. Just like pickled onion. Yeah. <laughs> that. I don't like that at all. Mm. It's horrible. I'd give that a two. Yeah. Two. <clears throat> yes. This is number four. Got quite a good colour. Yeah, it is a nice colour actually. Again, we've got peppers in. Lots of ginger. Yeah. Like something about to go off, isn't it? Yeah, but the red peppers it in. It's too much ginger. Mm. Which isn't too bad. And sweet sour, you can the, the recipe's right there. Um but you want your sweet and sour to be gingery. If it's yeah, a bit dry and long time, but well, it's just, there's no other flavour but ginger. No, I'd say that's a two as well. Yeah. <clears throat> and the last one. <laughs> <laughs> what is it? What does it look What does it look like? Uh, diluted raspberry jam. Yeah, it does, doesn't it? Here we go. Oh, it's no more Oh, I'm sorry I had to spit that out. That's disgusting. Mm. If that's that's a solid zero, and I can't imagine cooking that. It's going to make it taste any different. Okay, so Mum, this was Tesco's. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Sherwood's. Okay. Uncle Ben's. Yeah. Morrison's. Yeah. Blue Dragon. Oh gosh! <laughs> How disgusting is that? Oh. And that's the what this is. Blue Dragon's the one that's promoted everywhere. This I always say Blue Dragon is terrible. Yeah. That is awful. It tastes. It tastes gone off. 
doesn't it? Mm. It actually tastes gone off. Anyway, Sherwoods mixed with this is actually quite nice. Now, pardon me. Now, I think I can get that to taste quite like a um, yeah. Chinese takeaway. It's not going to take much. So in the next video, I'll show you what I've done to do that, if I can. I'll do it off camera first, but then I'll do it, <laughs> I'll do it on camera. Because I think it won't take that much. I reckon if you've got the ingredients at home already, it's going to take, cost you 20p to get it to taste right. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Thank you. Um, if you like this, we'll do more. Mum needs to loosen up a little bit. She was <laughs> quite funny before the camera went on, and then she went quiet when the camera went on, didn't you? Yeah. Just, don't, don't worry about it. Oh, okay. We can always edit stuff out. <laughs> and we can always not. Okay. But thanks for watching, guys. Like, comment, and subscribe, and we will be doing. I don't know what video is up next, um, but yeah, we'll be doing live streams as well. Yeah, definitely. And uh, definitely live streams from our shop, so that'll be quite cool. See, so watch work in the kitchen, keep cooking, but don't use Blue Dragon ever. Okay, make sure you stick around for part two, which I will be filming soon. Thank you very much, guys, for subscribing. As always, like and comment. We always get back to all our comments. If you want to go check out how to cook like Chinese takeaway food and you haven't seen our other channel before, head over there. It's um, Jang's Oriental Food Workshop. Um, aside from that, live long and prosper, my friends. <laughs> Can't believe I just did that on camera. <laughs>